everyone i am keertika nadumaran from tamil nadu i am very happy and excited at this moment to share my preparation strategies with you all uh, before sharing my preparation strategies i would like to thank my seniors anita ilango navin rushi and my friends sai kiran maithili keertana jayaprakash and deepthi and i also wish to thank my professors palasar swarnali ma'am and hirak sir so before started to share my preparation strategies i would like to tell some glimpses of my journey like how i started to be honest i started my preparation at the end of an hour it is already december is over and then it is the final semester uh, i started my preparation because uh, i didn't have a clarity at the first year i didn't decide what to read or what i'm going to do in the future for my career so i decided at the end and then i started my preparation by the fourth semester so you just think i was very hopeless because time was very short and we need to cover three subjects and i used to think lot in mind how i will cover into patho and nematology and i also want to cover some general agri so i was hopeless desperate and then i started to see some youtube videos how to what are the books i need to read and then i at the time i connected i connect with my seniors and i asked them what to read so they are the uh, they, actually they helped me me a lot their guidance helped me a lot what to read and what are the books i need to cover like that i started my preparation so Uh, but the but the very first time i don't know i used to have some self doubt the like yeah, will i clear or not because uh, many books we need to cover i started with insecta so insecta 1 and 2 i started at the same time i started reading tribuli book also because tribuli book is very very important in case of srf um so tribuli book uh, uh, though we didn't get any questions from tribuli book but uh, our seniors batch they got some questions from tribuli book so tribuli book is very important to cover and then uh, why i started insecta means insecta is a basic book after reading insecta we will gain some confidence okay and i gained some confidence okay we know something yeah we read everything and uh, i had a little hope that okay we read in our course itself we read some courses regarding entomology and pathology okay we can cover i used to tell myself okay you can do and then i started my preparation by insecta 1 insecta 2 and started preparing tribuli at the same time i my research work is going on i started my research work at the end of an hour it was very hectic and i used to cry how i will complete my research work by the same time i want to read i don't know this is a good or bad thing which has happened in my life like uh, the exam was scheduled on the uh, april month so because of that uh, i used to have more tension okay we need to cover earlier so i started to read uh, hento patho by the same time i i read both the subjects i covered at the same time so and then i started uh, by the end of april month i have covered entomology as well as pathology okay uh, somewhat i was about to complete my syllabus a little bit is left that is nematology part and general agri is left so and then my thesis work i need to at the same time during our fourth semester we need to start writing our thesis work i was uh, every time i will be busy in my thesis writing at the uh, april end at the april end so exam was not scheduled that i was very happy yeah we gained some two more months and i started my preparation uh, my thesis work is going on during that one month i didn't have uh, uh, like a little time to read also yeah little gap is there between with me and my subject there is a gap these kind of gaps we should not have because uh, when you try to revise again it will be like you started to read so in case of entomology you should have some continuous like you should be persistent in your studies so and then and i completed my thesis work 
and i came home i uh, like one month is left at that time i started uh, uh, leaving the uh, reading the leftover portion uh, for nematology and for my general agriculture so this is a little glimpse where i started my journey this won't suit for everyone because in my experience i would like to tell like you should start from the first so there are some points i would like to tell you all like a few points this you should remember you should have two types of clarity first first one is what is the profession or career you go you are going to choose fix yourself in my case the mistake i did was i i chose the phd side like uh, research side at the end so i didn't have time i was very tensed more depression what to read more things we sh- we need to cover in case of entomology reading alone is not uh, enough because reading alone don't help in case of entomology we need to revise a lot so you should start from the first at least from the pg second year so if you are starting from the first pg first year it is well and good because you will have more time for your preparation you will be very relaxed at the end of the examination you will gain more hope so that thing these are the mistakes i did in case of my preparation so you should start from the first the second clarity we should have is a uh, concept clarity clarity whatever you are reading you should have some idea about the concepts because uh, in case of srf it is not only about memory base there are uh, uh, some assertion reason type of questions will be ask, uh, asked about uh, 15 questions they will ask from assertion reason type so for this for this thing memory alone is not enough because we need to know uh, the perf- we need to know perfectly whether it will be correct or not we should not be in dilemma to choose an option so we you need to have some clarity about what you are reading and the second thing you need to know is uh, what to read so as i have suggested my seniors and uh, on youtube channel here i will share the books what you need to read it will be very helpful for you so you need to know what to read and what are the books you need to read and the third thing you need to know is uh, question paper analysis yeah question paper is very very important the question paper you need to analyze a lot i have downloaded a previous question papers uh, from iri topus uh, yeah i downloaded from iri topus and the past 3 years question paper the thing you need to do is question paper analysis first after doing the question paper analysis you would you would know like okay these are the things we need to cover and this is important you will have your self realization which is important and which is not uh, so question paper analysis is very very important so in case of question paper analysis you need to see the question paper twice thrice again and again you need to see the question papers then you can gain some idea regarding the questions from where we have to read and uh, what are the parts uh, what are the things are important in case of question paper and then fourth point is notes so in case of triple e book as i have told earlier uh, in triple e book many things are uh, there like everything is memory based we used to uh, like we, we used to forget a lot so you need to have some notes regarding the uh, regarding your preparation you need to have some self notes like you will know which one you will forget and uh, which is very important to note so these kind of handwritten notes is very essential for you to revise at the last moment you need to take uh, notes and then the fifth thing i want to tell is question paper solving solving the question paper is very essential after your completion of your reading after complete after your syllabus is over you need to solve questions because by solving the questions you can you can analyze yourself where you are and what are the things you are remembering and what are the things you don't remember so by solving the questions you can get an idea um, you can try some uh, telegram channels where they, they will post many questions i tried some telegram channels and uh, at the end uh, my senior shared some question paper link so from there i solved many questions um and then regarding question of, uh, then question paper solving is very important and then you need to complete the syllabus as early as possible because after completing the syllabus you will have more time for revision 
then you should revise uh, many times as i have told earlier and then the last thing you must have is hope you should have hope on yourself that you are going to achieve something and then uh, these are the do's and don'ts i want to share and then now i i would like to share the books what are the books you need to read so in case of entomology in case of entomology insect of one insect of two and then elements of economic entomology by uh, vasantra chevit and then ds reddy is very important uh, in case of uh, one liner questions you need to already everyone must have known that uh, refresher and retice so refresher retice refresher is very very important and then and then in case of pathology in case of pathology reading the basics is very very important that is the principles of plant pathology is very important to everyone and uh, regarding the books uh, uh, you need to cover a plant pathology by man and kashya uh, plant pathology a competition a competitive vision by manoj kumar yadav and uh, uh, plant pathology by man and kashya so these are the important two important books in ke- regarding the pathology preparation in case of in nematology uh, in case of nematology you need to read uh, introductory nematology by bajaj and valia and uh, plant nematology by manjunath so in case of uh, bajaj and valia it will be like a theoretical but in case of manjunath it is uh, like a one mark type based questions where you can solve many questions related to plant uh, nematology and then uh, so these are the books you need to cover uh, for ento patho and nematology and uh, there are some points you need to what where you need to focus and i would like to tell those points in case of entomology the insect vector plot is very important so what are the in, insects which is acting as a vector and in which manner it is transmitting the disease that is very very important either it is persistent semi persistent uh, or non persistent manner and the second thing is quarantine pest so quarantine pest is very important here you need to note from which country the pest came into india as well as the year is very important so quarantine pest and uh, third thing is uh, insecticides so insecticide and their mode of action is very important in case of uh, toxicology so these uh, mode of action action you can get from google from irac website so where there you can see the insecticides and the mode of action and the fourth thing is uh, fourth thing uh, one thing i forgot to tell that in case of insect vector um, we need to read the different insects like it is not about the normal thing as we know basically that uh, leaf curl virus is transmitted by white fly so we need to know what are what are the leaf curl diseases which is transmitted other than white fly so these are the different uh, vectors uh, here we need to focus for example um, chilly leaf curl which is transmitted by thrips and mites like which is upward curling downward curling those are the things we need you need to remember a lot and then uh, third thing you need to remember is invasive pest invasive pest is very important from which country uh, the country of origin is very important in which year it was introduced and the natural enemies the natural enemies for the invasive pest is very important fourth thing you need to have you need to focus on sprayer part because everyone we we don't focus on the other things every time we used to read the what are the important so sprayer part we used to leave so sprayer part is very important you need to cover uh, in case of pathology in case of pathology classification of fungicides based on chemical group that is very important so in which group it is classified you need to remember and quarantine diseases you need to remember the year also the quarantine diseases from which year it was introduced into india and from which country and uh, disease symptoms uh, basically you need to have an idea about the disease symptoms like a mosaic what is mean by mosaic what is the difference between mosaic leaf curl leaf strike leaf uh, streaks leaf uh, stripes so you need to have a basic difference about the disease symptoms and fourth thing you need to know about the resting structures resting st- structures of various pathogen of a particular disease this thing you need to remember and then uh, uh, in case of nematology in case of nematology history part is very important and then the infective stages of nematode so um, normally epn will be infective in the 
J3 stage. So the, these kind of infective stage you need to concentrate. And the nematicides, either it is a contact nematicides or in systemic nematicide. So these things you need to remember in toxicology part in nemato in entomology also you need to remember uh, whether it is transmitting in a which manner it is a systemic or contact insecticide those things you need to remember and the nemato transmitting viral diseases so what are the nematodes which is transmitting viral disease well, some few diseases are there you need to remember that one that is very important and then laboratory instrument in case other than this uh, in case of general agree. Uh, other than this you need to cover in the laboratory instruments and their principles so what are the basic laboratory instruments like uh, 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 hot air oven uh, like those kind of things you need to remember and then uh, PCR what are the types of PCR these are very important and then in case of general agri it is important to remember the institutes and their headquarters and regarding entomology, the institutes regarding entomology, you should remember in which year the institute was established. That is also a very important thing related to entomological institutes. And then you can solve many questions from telegram group also uh, regarding entomology or pathology. And then uh, uh, for general agree. At the last moment, uh, uh, when your exam is there, in telegram groups, they used to post uh, some general agriculture uh, PDFs. So, what are the current efforts related to agriculture? That is very important uh, because which one from part A, which one they will ask, we don't know. So, we need to be conscious about everything. Like, we need to cover even general agri as well as the general current efforts related to general agri. And what are the new re released varieties uh, by ICR or some other institutes? We you need to memorize that one also. Then important year related to INM. So apart from this, you need to. Uh, we don't know from general agree which questions they will ask. In our case, we are very lucky because we got uh, from part A we got questions from pathology and the entomology also. This is a plus point for us. Uh, so next year how it will be we don't know. So you need to be conscious. Uh, not only about general agriculture apart from general knowledge also so related to general knowledge you need to have some uh, you need to know the important year which is related to Indian national movement and uh, regarding general what I studied for general agri means I covered uh, economics uh, genetics and plant breeding from Nimrat Sunda so Nimrat Sunda is very important from there I covered economics plant uh, pathology entomology and uh, for agronomy i didn't touch because i thought okay i didn't have a time at that moment so i left agronomy so other than economics extension do these subjects are covered from nimrat sunda it is very useful for me so okay this is my preparation strategy and i would like to thank um, au agri organics team for giving this opportunity to share my ideas with everyone uh, I hope this idea will be useful for many people. So if I can do it, yes you can. Thank you.